Okay, so I've done over 50 videos on how to run Windows 10 or 11 on a Raspberry Pi 4 or 400, and uh, there's been an update. So thanks to this comment, WRR got a big upgrade. Can you please do a new video talking about it? It's in the Discord, thank you. So this is the update posted by BotSpot, who is the creator of Pi Apps. WRR Flasher has not been working for a few weeks. It would say failed to get a list of Windows 11 versions. This error occurred because API dump the site to legally generate Windows images went down. That was over a week ago, it's still down. So I rewrote WOR Flasher. It no longer uses UUP dump at all, and that resulted in an impressive speed increase. It is flashing my SD cards in 15 minutes instead of the usual two hours, and that includes download and extraction time. Additionally, WOR Flasher now supports importing your own Windows, ARM64 ISO file, choosing an exact Windows version, using cached files from previous runs so that a reflash can be done offline, doing everything in RAM available for 8 gig Pis, which is what I'm using at the moment. Much of the speed increase is thanks to the WOR Dev's brand new API for downloading Windows ESD images. You can install WOR Flasher from Pi Apps or by the following instruction. Well, I've already got Pi Apps installed on my version of KDE Plasma and uh, I'm just gonna update it so it's got the latest version and it's all gonna go too fast on the left-hand side to see it. Let's close that and launch Pi Apps again. And probably Tools. Scroll down. Windows Flasher. So let's install that. I've got a separate video on how to install Pi Apps in Raspberry Pi OS or in this KDE Plasma. Okay, so that's all finished. So let's close that down and launch it from here. So let's try WOR. Yeah, WOR Flasher, let's launch that. So you can see it's got a nice simple interface. Look, install Windows 11 on a Pi 4 400 or Windows 10 or more options. I'm gonna go with Windows 11 and hit next. So let's select the version we want and next. Choose a device to flash. Well, I need to put an SD card in here. So I've got a 32 gig SD card in this SD card reader. So let's pop that into the USB 3 socket and I'll probably need to refresh this. You can see it's been picked up. Let's hit refresh here, and there's my device, and let's hit next. Oh, and here's the new option, look. Uh, so about 4.2 gig of files need to be downloaded to system storage before flashing can begin. But your system has 7.6 gig of RAM. Everything can be downloaded to RAM if you prefer. Yeah, let's go with that. Use RAM, and okay. And it goes through the various information here, Raspberry Pi 4, Windows 11, it tells me the build. Uh, we've got overclocking options in here as well. So we can see here that it's come up with uh, the instructions on how to overclock. Now if I save that on the desktop, I can use that later on. So save as desktop, and what's it got? Config text tips, so let's save that. You can see that's come up the top there. Let's close that down, and let's hit flash. Now the old way always used to be using a Windows device and I've got separate tutorials on that. We still don't have Wi-Fi on Windows on Raspberry Pi, but uh, there is the Vonitz adapter which I've just done a shorts video on, uh, which is one way of getting Wi-Fi on it. I've done other videos on, on workarounds, but the Vonitz one is the best one for me. Uh, although actually I use an Ethernet cable, so it doesn't really matter too much to me. You can see we've got this nice representation of exactly what's going on. It's now downloading the big file, but it's going pretty quick. Uh, so it's got to download 3.6 gig. So we'll come back a little later when that's all done. Okay, so we have this screen, next steps. That really didn't take very long at all. I'm amazed at how quick that was. Uh, I don't know quite when it finished because I had it on screensaver, um, but boot up the new SD card, this screen should appear. After 30 minutes, the WOR installer will begin extracting windows to the SD card. If all goes well, Windows will be running on your Raspberry Pi. If we have a look at the removable drives, uh, I've already clicked on this one, um, but if we open it, you can see that it has install.wim, and in the other one, you don't need to do this, I'm just doing this out of interest, we have the boot partition. Oh, okay, so we could overclock at this point. Right, let's do that. Uh, so config.txt. And this is where we want to put our overclocking. So remember this bit we saved before? Let's open that up. And it says to overclock, just copy the settings without the name at the top and paste the settings to the bottom of config.txt. So I'm going to go with these, what I would say are reasonably safe overclocking if you've got any type of calling. So let's hit copy on that. 
Let's pop it at the bottom of this. I always put a space in, you probably don't need to, I'm sure you don't. Uh, and let's do file and save. So now what you need to do is shut down this operating system and shut down. I'm going to take out the SD card that I've just written to and I'm going to pop that into my SD card slot on the Pi. Uh, unplug the USB, although it should, did, it should automatically boot from the SD card and ignore that, but I'd like to keep it as simple as possible. Let's switch on and see if we get the normal Windows boot up screen. We do. I'm going to hit escape. And although it doesn't say that to do that in the instructions, um, this is the way I've always done it before. So I'm going to go to Device Manager, going to go to Raspberry Pi Configuration and Display Configuration, and I'm going to change that to 720. So press Space and Space to get rid of the native resolution and Escape. I think that's the only thing I'm going to change at the moment. So Escape to Exit and Yes. You just get better performance at 720 than 1080, uh, especially running Windows on a Pi. Escape, continue, and enter to reset. Okay, so bear with the installation. The screen that I just showed just now that looks like there's errors and it isn't working, uh, apparently it's fine. Uh, it just doesn't give you any indication that it's installing, but eventually it will switch to this screen. After about 12 minutes, I think, probably, 10, 12 minutes maybe, So after quite some time, you will end up in Windows 11 if everything works successfully. A few things that I always change. Uh, so if I press the Windows key and type in Startup and go to Startup Apps, and I'm just going to turn off various things that I don't need. So OneDrive, Microsoft Teams, and the Microsoft Security Notification icon. And then I'm going to go over here and start typing Performance, Adjust the Appearance and Performance of Windows. and pick adjust for best performance. That turns off all of these effects and things which we don't need on the Pi. Uh, it definitely slows down performance. Let's hit OK. And let's close this down. And just open the web browser, have a look at that. And just play a bit of my video. Now let's go to my channel, because I've got a playlist for WOR, which is Windows on Raspberry Pi. And I've done, well let's see how many videos I've done. Yeah, 51 videos. There's one that goes into Windows in a lot more depth. Let's just pause that on the right-hand side here. So we scroll down through. So this one here, how to install Windows 11 on Raspberry Pi 4 400. I went through a lot more details and also went through uh, the Windows control panel, which is available on the Discord. Uh, all the links to the Discord will be in there, so it's worth having a look at that. And I've also covered all sorts of things. I've put Steam on here tried various different games, uh, different streaming services, all sorts of things, added Wi-Fi, uh, added a CD drive, loads and loads of things. So check out that playlist, which I'll be adding this video to. Okay, so thanks very much to everybody involved, BotSpot for improving the tool, all of the WOR team, uh, all of the people who help on the Discord. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.